let us discuss left linear grammar and right linear grammar with the proper examples see left linear grammar in a grammar if all the productions are in the form a produces capital b alpha or a produces alpha where capital a and capital b are the non terminals and alpha belongs to sigma star that means alpha is consisting of uh, your input alphabets or input symbols can also be null then the grammar is called left linear grammar so in case of left linear grammar always the grammar will be having either a single non terminal and then collection of terminals may or may not present or a produces alpha that means a produces set of terminals including kappa so as an example if you take capital a produces capital a small a it is falling in this particular category capital b small b it is also falling in this category and a produces small b it is falling in this particular category so this is uh, known as linear left linear grammar and these are the examples of the production rules now let us come to the right linear grammar in a grammar if all productions are in the form a produces alpha capital b or a produces alpha where capital a and capital b belongs to set of non terminals that is vn and alpha belongs to sigma star that means alpha will be containing collection of terminal symbols or alphabets or including kappa then the grammar is called right linear grammar and it can be expressed as capital a produces small a capital a that means it is in this particular form capital a produces small b capital b that means it is in this particular form and capital a produces small b that means it is falling in this particular category so thus we have defined with the examples left linear grammar and right linear grammar to solve different get problems this concept will be required so that's why we have discussed that one with a proper example thanks for watching this video